to go 50% of the way you've got to get them to go. And sometimes you get leaders in this neoliberal world who go 0% in the way in which you want them to go. So if Chavez for you is even 50% right, for me is about 80% right, it's a big leap forward. And you know, this could never have happened if the Bolivian poor hadn't decided to come out and vote for him. Because if you followed what has been going on in Venezuela, the campaigns by the oligarchic parties and their media have been amongst the most disgusting campaigns I have seen. Uh, and I follow quite a few in terms of the language used, the, the, the brutality of the language used against him. The only way he could defeat the media was through popular support. And the way he organizes that popular support is quite effective. It's not enough. And I think this is a weakness in the, in the process. It should be better organized, and we need to create more institutional structures from below. It's too dependent on him. But nonetheless, he has polarized Latin America. And you, in order to polarize people on a political position, you have to be very hard and firm, like Bolivar was. And you decide what the issue you're going to polarize them on. Bolivar did it, no compromise with the Spanish Empire, and Chavez has done it, no compromise with the social, economic, military, foreign policies of the American Empire. That's what he's done it on. And sometimes you may think he goes too far, but if he didn't go that far, he wouldn't polarize a discussion around it. The whole of the Latin American continent is now discussing on virtue whether they like him or hate him, they are discussing which way forward. And that discussion actually enhances democracy. Because if you don't have any discussion, it's pointless. You're completely disengaged. That's the importance of the Venezuelan process. Even if you have disagreements with it, you must understand it. And of course, when you suddenly have a process which throws up a political leader who decides to take on this challenge in a world where these challenges are discouraged, stamped out, pushed back. It's an incredibly courageous thing to do. And, you know, I think he will go down not just in South American history, but in global history as being the voice that was raised in the early years of the 21st century, which began to give people hope again. That's why I wrote this book, to make this case, because it's, many people know it, but it's not articulated enough given what the media does. And this is an articulation of it. Thank you. to give a big thanks to Mr. Tariq Ali for joining us uh, and, and offering his book presentation here. Big thanks to Verso and a very special thanks to our friend Max Arvelais who made this possible. Please join us now for a reception in the, in the ambassador's re residence next door in honor of our guest. <laughs> Tariq Ali on his latest, Pirates of the Caribbean. For more information, visit his website at tariqali.org.